We have live team coverage for you tonight. We're going to continue to track this latest developments every single day. Eleven Lives Grace King is standing at the uh, standing by the Fulton County Courthouse. We're going to kick things off with Zach Merchant live outside the Fulton County Jail with answers and questions many of you are asking tonight. Zach. Yeah, two big questions in particular. The first one is a simple one. What actually happens when former President Donald Trump presumably arrives here in Atlanta to surrender to authorities? The other one, does he get bond? I am giving the defendants the opportunity to voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of August, 2023. A ticking clock now in motion. All 19 defendants have eight days to turn themselves into the Fulton County Jail. They'll come get your client, bring him back to a little area, we'll fingerprint them, take their picture. Criminal defense attorney Lawrence Zimmerman says it's a typically routine process, but the former president is not a routine defendant. Retired Gwinnett County District Attorney Danny Porter says security concerns could alter the usual process. I suspect there's going to be things like clearing out the intake room or the booking room. Um, Secret Service will have to be there. Once a suspect is booked, the next issue is bond. If both defense counsel and the DA's office agree, the defendant will get what's known as a consent bond and usually will be released shortly after being booked. If there's no consent bond, the defendant would have to go before a superior court judge. No one yet knows for sure, but Porter thinks security concerns will factor into the decision. Think about the nightmare of keeping Donald Trump in the Fulton County Jail and the security nightmare and the logistical nightmare. And we have some breaking news right now. Just moments ago, we obtained a new court filing from Jeffrey Clark, a former Department of Justice official, raising a host of procedural challenges to Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis's motion seeking a trial for all 19 defendants in March of 2024. It should be noted with 19 named defendants in this indictment, this is likely not the last time we'll see a motion like this. For now, live outside of Fulton County Jail, Zach Merchant. 11 Alive News. A great point he just met there. 19 people, so we're going to see a lot of movement on this in the coming days.